collection here at the Canadian Museum of Nature comprises about 3.2 million catalogable units and up to date we've catalogued about 25% of that information digitally, at least in text form. So that's about uh, 710,000 digital records are available right now in our collections online database. The great potential in this kind of an initiative is that it takes a huge valuable collection that only had one point of entry, arriving in person or talking to a curator on the telephone, and unleashes the data over the internet for all kinds of people to ask questions at the same time. Questions we haven't even thought of yet. Uh, so there's huge power there and huge potential. The scope of the collection in the database reflects the same scope that we have in the actual physical collection. And so that would mean the mineral collection, the fossil collection, plant collection, uh, as well as an extensive animal collection including vertebrates, the things that we see around us all the time, fishes, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and other mammals, as well as an extensive uh, invertebrate collection. The more kinds of data we can produce uh, that is available digitally uh, on the World Wide Web, the more that uh, the collection here will be used. When we talk about collection data at a museum, all museum specimens have a number of core pieces of information attached to them, which makes them useful for scientific purposes. So when you collect a specimen in the field, it's sort of obvious you know where you collected it, when you collected it, what's the date, what's the habitat the specimen was collected in, who are the people that collected it, what other species occur in the area that you collected the specimen in. So anything that provides context for what that specimen was doing in its natural environment and where it was found is important, and that's all recorded. When we talk about digitization, we mean a couple of different things. Primarily, the first component of digitizing museum collections data is capturing the information on specimen labels in a computerized database. The second part of digitizing museum collections data is capturing images of the actual specimens. So, imaging technology is increasingly easier to use and access, and once you have an image and the collection data from the image, you've got a digital representation of that object in the collection here, and that information can very easily be shared with the world online. To digitize our entire collection would, would take a long time, and so for us, uh, we, we are sticking to priorities, things that we do research on, or the most highly valuable uh, research specimens like the type of collection. Um, we also collect things fairly regularly, so uh, we keep pace with the brand new things coming into the collection, and all museums are increasing their collections. That's what viable museums do. But we also share that data more broadly with global initiatives. So the major international program to share biodiversity information data is called the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. So rather than having to go to 10 or 15 different websites to find the information you might be looking for for a specific research project, you can get a lot of the information sort of at a one-stop shop. So when you bring together all the global information about biodiversity that's available through, uh, through collections databases, for example, you've got a really strong database that can be used to address all kinds of questions, trying to track the, the, the invasive species patterns, trying to understand uh, the composition of ecosystems, trying to figure out patterns of collecting in different areas, trying to understand which areas have been studied thoroughly in terms of their biodiversity and which areas have not. Getting our museum information out there to the world where it can be used is a, is a key priority for the institution and we're continually engaging in digitization projects to, to continue to get information into digital form so it can be used. But it's a big job.